morning, everyone, and this is a 30th edition of Klugula Reads' is Classic. We are a month old. That's a heck of a lot of material, and there are still piles and piles upon piles of stuff to still uh, discover. So today I'm going to bring you a piece that was written in college. Um, it doesn't appear to be for a class. It was just something I wrote for the heck of it. Um, I can always tell because of the typeface. This was a type piece, so I think this was done in the uh, college library. So um, let me get right into it. Uh, <clears throat> it's called The Delivery. The doorway of a house. How many days have you been waiting for the delivery? Three. Why haven't you called into the company to complain? Because. Do you know what you're waiting for? Delivery. Yes, but do you know what is in the box or envelope that is being delivered? Yes. Well, what is it? Box. What's in the box? Stuff. What kind of stuff, may I ask? Yes. Good. Uh, what kind of stuff is in the box? Poison. Oh, really? Well, uh, what kind of poison? Rat, ant, do you know? Yes. Well, what kind is it? Can you tell me? Yes. Rat or ant or what? Pesticide. Pesticide. Oh, well, do you own a farm with a lot of crops and things? Yes. Is that what you need the pesticide for? Yes. Do you ever have anything negative to say? Yes. Like what? Can you tell me, or is there too much corn around? No. No, you can't tell me, or no, there's no corn, or no, you never have anything negative to say? Yes. There is a pause. Have you gotten any other deliveries in the last few days? Yes. Can you let me know what was in those boxes or envelopes that were delivered to you in the last few days? Yes. Will you cooperate fully with me to let me know what you have gotten delivered to you in the last few days? Yes. Good. That makes me happy. Are you happy that you've made me happy? Yes. Wonderful. Can I ask you a few questions concerning the deliveries you've received in the past few days? No. Why not? Because. Is it top secret? For your eyes only? No. Then why can't I know the facts about the deliveries you've received in the last few days? Because. You know, you're not making this very easy on me, and by not making it any easier on me, you're making it a lot harder on you. You see where I'm coming from? Yes. Good. Now, I think that you should explain everything to me as clearly as is possible. I want this to be comfortable for you as well as for me. You understand? Yes. Great. Now, let me get my notebook, and then you can fire away. Sound okay? Yes. Shoot. About three weeks ago, I received news from Los Angeles that my brother was killed in a drive-by shooting. He was not killed instantly, but instead was rushed to the hospital to be cared for. He died in the emergency room. He had multiple gunshots in his lower abdomen. His liver and kidneys were mutilated by the shots. There were several shots in his chest. His left lung was hit right in the center. His right lung was untouched. His heart was missed by only millimeters. His kneecaps were blown into tiny specks of shattered bone. His ear was shot off, and another bullet skimmed his scalp. It was surprising to find out that he lasted as long as he did. As I said, he made it all the way to the emergency room. Most doctors say that he should have been DOA. My brother was always strong. I remember doing our childhood. We were playing on a rope swing in the woods behind our house. We had been swinging for hours, taking turns, when the swing broke. The drop-off was a good 15 feet. He broke his left arm and three of his ribs. One of them was jutting out, barely staying inside his skin. He got up and told me to go and get our mother. As I was coming back with our mother, he was on his way up the slope, holding his arm with his other hand. He was smiling and even laughing a little bit. Yes, my brother was always strong. Now he's dead? I'm, I'm very sorry. Are you all right? Yes. So, what's the pesticide for? Crops. You do own a farm. Yes. Can I come in for some coffee? Yes. Do you have sugar and cream? I really like sugar and cream. Do you? Yes. Good. That's the delivery. Um, college pay, uh, piece written uh, probably age 20, 21-ish, somewhere in there. It's an interesting, oddball, absurd tale of 
the delivery. Anyway, um, so this is number 30. Uh, tomorrow we will start into our second month of Klugula Reads' Classics, so I hope you'll stay tuned for more. You can subscribe below, you can like, you can comment, all of that good stuff. And I hope you'll uh, you'll join me again for more of this uh, these wacky tales from my writing past. Until tomorrow, I will uh, end with the quadruple S. Stay safe, stay smart, stay secure, and stay well-stocked. And until then, bye, guys.